हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज सिद्धार्थ गुप्ता टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट कॉन्सेप्ट इन द परसेंटेज दैट इज द मिक्सचर ऑफ टू लिक्विड्स इफ देर इज अ मिक्सचर ऑफ टू लिक्विड्स हाउ टू सॉल्व सच क्वेश्चन विच आर बेस्ड ऑन परसेंटेज एंड रेशियो प्रपोर्शन ओके सम कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ परसेंटेज सो लेट सी द क्वेश्चन इज वेरी सिंपल वेन प्रोसेसिंग फ्लावर नेक्टर इन टू हनी बीज ओके extract a considerable amount of water gets reduced okay what it's saying is when processing flower nectar into honey bees extract a considerable amount of water gets reduced because it means the nectar contains a good amount of water but when you process it then into honey bees then the water get reduced a considerable amount of water get reduced from it how much flower nectar must be processed to yield 1 kg of honey okay the question is how much flower nectar must be processed to yield 1 kg of honey if nectar contain 50% water and the honey obtained from this nectar contains 15% of water so what it says is it's very easy to understand question it says that when the flower nectar is processed the considerable amount of water gets reduced from it okay and we need to determine how much flower nectar must be processed to yield 1 kg of honey if nectar contains 50% of water and honey obtained from this nectar contains 15% of water now see try to understand the basic concept here that the flower nectar when it is converted into honey then water is reduced it means water is getting reduced but there is something else also in this flower nectar and what is that that is honey okay so whenever this flower nectar is processed the amount of honey will not reduce okay while the percentage of honey will increase it's very obvious you can see in the flower nectar i have water and honey okay so if the water is getting reduced the amount of water is getting reduced it means the amount of honey that is uh, the amount of honey is constant now if amount of water is getting reduced it means the percentage of water is also getting reduced while the amount of honey remains constant but the percentage of honey will increase this is the basic concept that on which this question is based on see how to solve this very simple see the flower nectar contains 50% of non water part that is the pulp that is the i can say the pulp or the honey or whatever the solid material it has okay 50% is water while 50% is non water part so in this uh, in honey this non water part constitute 85% okay why because it is clearly written that the honey contains only 15% of water that's why in the honey this non water part that is this pulp part okay is 85% now you can see this 50% non water part and this 85% non water non water part are equal in terms of weight why i am saying this it's because when you process this flower nectar only the water get reduced while the content while the weight of the honey or the pulp that is the non water part will not change okay please mind it it will not change while the percentage of it will increase why because the percentage of water is getting reduced that's why i can say that therefore the 0.5 that is a 50% into amount of flower nectar whatever be the amount of flower nectar i have here i can see i am processing flower nectar to yield 1 kg of honey so ultimately my task is to get 1 kg of honey in 1 kg of honey how much honey you will have you will have 85% of the honey while 15% is water so therefore 0.5 into it amount of flower nectar that we can have is equals to 0.85 into amount of honey present okay that is 0.85 into 1 in 1 kg of honey i can have 0.85 kgs of honey okay and while in the flower nectar only 50% part of this flower nectar is non water part that is it is honey that's why 50% of this amount of flower nectar and finally you will have therefore the amount of flower nectar needed is 0.85 upon 0.5 into 1 that is 1.7 kg so if you have 1.7 kgs of flower nectar then you can extract all, almost 1 kg of honey 
सो सी द मेन कॉन्सेप्ट इन दिस क्वेश्चन दैट वी नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड इज दिस फ्लावर नेक्टर कंटेन हनी एंड वाटर वेन इट इज प्रोसेस्ड the amount of water will will get reduced the percentage of water will get reduced the proportion of water also will get reduced while you can see in the flower nectar the honey that is a non water part the amount of honey will not change while the percentage of honey will increase and the proportion of honey will also going to increase so see when the quantity is getting reduced the percentage is also reducing while the other quantity the amount is constant but the percentage is increasing and the proportion is also increasing why it is so it's just because the amount of other quantity is getting reduced continuously okay this is the concept that we need to understand in this question thank you